Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export country wise data to CSV files in SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Abraham Vincent and he asked the same question that there is a SQL server table which contains data for multiple countries and he want to export the data individually for each country to the different CSV file. So how we can do that? So let's jump to the demo. I have a SQL server 2019 instance and I got a table country table here which contains 2000 records and this contains data for different countries like Benin, Canada, Indonesia and China. So this is the data that it contains. So what I want is that data from this particular table should be exported to the different CSV files based on a country column. For example we have the data for the China country here so that a CSV file china.csv should be created and all the records where the country name is equal to China that should be exported to the China.csv file and similarly SSIS package should create a CSV file for each country and should export all the related data to that particular CSV file so let's see how we can do that so I have created a blank SSIS package so this is my blank SSIS package that I will be using today and I will write the code here and I want to export the data to this particular location D files location so for example let me create a blank csv file here and i can call this one as china.csv and now i can go back to the ssis package so here we need to decide like which components we want to use in this particular ssis package so the first challenge is that we need to loop through all different countries data okay so because we want to run a loop so there are a few components in the ssis like for each loop container and for loop container a for loop can be run if you are 100% sure that you need to run the loop 100 times or 500 times so if you know the actual count like how many times you need to run the loop then you can use the for loop in that particular scenario but if you don't know like how many times you need to run the loop if your condition is dependent on some kind of maybe data rows or maybe files then you can use a for each loop container so if you want to loop through files like for example if you want to loop through some CSV files or XML files or TXT file or Excel file then in those particular scenarios you can use the for each loop container with file enumerator but suppose if you want to loop through some records in a SQL server table then in that particular scenario you need to use the for each loop container with ADO enumerator so in this particular example we need to loop through different records in the country table so that's why we need to use the for each loop container with ADO enumerator so first of all we will select the distinct country values from the country table and we will assign that particular value inside an object variable and then we will run a loop against all the distinct countries and for each distinct country we will export the data from the SQL server table to the CSV file. So let me write a SQL query here to select the distinct countries from the country table. Select distinct country from the country table okay so th this will select the distinct countries and maybe I can sort the data based on the country as well order by country so that it will select the data in the ascending order yeah like Afghanistan is in on top and uh, Zambia is on last so this is good now I can go back to the SSIS package and here I need to create few SSIS variables so the first variable that I will create is folder path like to which path we want to export the CSV files so data type will be a string and the value that I can provide is D files so I can simply paste the value here and now we need to declare a variable and we can call it as country and the data type will be a string here and the value we can give is maybe China and now we need to create another variable here and I will call the variable as file path and the data type I can give is a string and here we need to concatenate the value from the folder path and the country okay so I can go to the expressions here and now inside the expressions I can just drag and drop the folder path here click on evaluate expression so this will give us the value as d files okay now we need to write plus double quote backslash backslash double quote and if you click on evaluate expression then it will append in 
backslash value here okay and now we need to append the country value here so we can just drag and drop the country value here and if you click on evaluate expression so the china has been added here and now we can click on plus double quote dot csv and the double quote so if you csv okay so now if you click on evaluate expression so now you can see that this is the complete path d files china dot csv and because the folder path value is dynamic and the country value is dynamic so when the loop will run so the country value will change for each iteration and the file name will be changed as well so i can click on ok and here now we need to declare one more variable and we can call it as obj countries because we need to keep all the countries in an object variable data type will be object so this is good now i can close this one and now because we need to select the data distinct countries from the sql server tables so we will use the execute sql task so i can just use an execute sql task here and i can rename this execute sql task as select distinct countries okay and now i can just configure this execute sql task i can make a connection to the work database so we already have a connection that i can use here and now i can click on okay under sql statement I can copy this particular distinct query from here and paste it here. Now click on OK. Under result set, we will select the full result set. And then you can click on result set, click on add. And you can change the result set name to zero. And you can select the object variable here, obj countries. And now you can click on OK. So this task has been configured. And now we need to use the for each loop container. So we can just drag and drop the for each loop container into the control flow task. And now we can connect the execute SQL task with the for each loop container. And now you can configure the for each loop container. Under collection, under enumerator, you need to select the for each loop ADO enumerator. And under ADO object source variable, you can select the object variable here. And under variable mappings, you can select the country variable here. Because whatever country value will be assigned to the object variables, individually they will, one by one, they will assign to the country variable. Now you can click on OK. And now because you want to export the data, so we will use a data flow task here. So we can just drag and drop the data flow task into the for each loop container. And then we can configure the data flow task. Because we want to read the data from a SQL Server table, so we will use an OLEDB source here. So we can just drag and drop the OLEDB source into the data flow task. And now we can right click and configure the OLEDB source. Here there is one thing that we can just click on cancel. And here we need to declare a SQL query variable here. So we can just create a SQL query of type a string and we can make the query dynamic. Okay, because when the SSIS package will run, so we need to select the data for each and individual country and we need to pass the value of the country according to the country SSIS variable. So we can write a where condition where country equal to and we need to pass the value of a particular country so for example if Canada value will be passed then it will select the data only for the Canada so 20 records have been selected for the Canada so now you can copy this particular query from here and then you can just go to the expressions of the SQL query maximize it put a double quote paste the query and the double quote and now instead of Canada you can pass the value from the country variable so you can put a double quote plus plus double quote now you can just drag and drop the country variable inside the this particular query and if you click on evaluate expression so that you can see that the query is good and for each iteration of the for each loop container the value of the country column will be changed and accordingly it will select the data from the country table so i can click on ok so now our sql query is good and i can close this one and i can go back to the data flow task now I can configure the OLEDB source here. Under data access mode, I will select the SQL command from variable and I will select the SQL query variable here. So this is the query that is currently stored here. So I can go to the columns and I want to export all the columns. So I can click on OK. And because we want to write the data to a CSV file, so we can just drag and drop the flat file destination into the data flow task. And now you can connect the OLEDB source with the flat file destination. And now you can right click and configure the flat file destination. I can click new to create a new flat file connection. Click OK. 
and now you can call this connection manager maybe as flat file you can name anything it won't matter and now you can browse the csv file that we created so i had created a blank file china.csv so you can select this file for now and then we will make the connection dynamic so for each iteration a new file will be created i can click on this particular checkbox column names in the first data row because i want that the header information should also be added to all the csv files now under text qualifier i will use a double quote so that each column will be surrounded by a double quote i can click on ok and if you click on mappings then you can make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this is good and now you can click on ok now the last thing that is remaining in this ssis package is that you need to make the flat file connection as dynamic so if you right click on the flat file connection manager and go to the properties then inside the expressions you can click on these three dots and there is a property connection string so you need to make this connection string property as dynamic so here you need to provide the file path and because file path is stored inside the file path ssis variable then you can just drag and drop the file path into the expression and click on ok ok so now our ssis package is ready to be run and you can simply click on start button so this should export the data for different countries inside the csv file so the ssis package is running right now and it is exporting the data so if you go to the d files location so here you can see that the data is being exported and the number of items are getting increased because it is going to create one file for each country and i think there are 122 countries so that's why it will create 122 csv files so i think yeah, this is good so the package ran fine and if you go back to the d files location then you can see that it has exported the data for all the files and and 122 items have been selected so 122 files have been created so for example if you want to check the data in a file so let me open the afghanistan.csv file so it should contain the data for the afghanistan country so now you can see that it contains 15 records and this is the data for the afghanistan and similarly let me open the canada.csv i think it should contain 20 records yeah so it contains 21 lines the first line is the header information and the remaining 20 records are the one which are exported from the sql server table so i will share the source table with you the country table with you and i will also share the few expressions with you like maybe this particular expression and this particular expression as well so that you can create the ssis package by yourself and you can test it so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much